Okay, hi guys, we're going to be showing you how to uh, replace entire textures uh, in your map. So what I want to do is uh, select a texture here. You can see it's this green. Um, and I want to copy that to my clipboard. Then I want to take another texture. Uh, wait a second, let me make the one I want to make. Let's see, let's make that blue. Copy that. Select the texture I want to replace. Hit replace and they all change. See that? You may have to come through and do it to some other ones. Replace this section. Yeah, we got it there. Uh, usually it'll catch them all first time. If it doesn't, try another, uh, clicking on another section of that and it'll uh, replace them. But that's the replace feature. Um, so, for example, say, uh, here's another tip. Uh, for example, I want to take my floor and I want to take that whole uh, texture. I want to tag all those textures, in fact. And I want to make these um, uh, something like this. Okay. Uh, first thing I want to do is, you know, align them once. Then uh, this is uh, the uh, multiple sides alignment. So they're all going to align to each other. But say um, uh, I want to do this one here and uh, these here so i'm going to tag this plane i'm going to make those the texture and that's plane and tag that texture so let me tag all these textures and i want to align them with each other uh, and they're still looking good now let me uh, change them to this pattern Sometimes this will show up better. Now, if you can see, these uh, have half a square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this square as the uh, lined up square. I want everything to be um, lined up like this, even these spaced up. So I'm going to go to the all. And uh, you see how it does that? It spaces them now. So everything's lined up. Even over here. Um, moving ob objects in a cube. Okay, so <clears throat> say I'm going to put a player here. I'm going to put him here. Right here. I want to add this. A player is an object, just like guns and missiles and power-ups and all that stuff. They're all objects. Anything you put inside the map is an object. So I'm going to add one. Now he's facing the wall. When he uh, spawns, nobody likes to be facing the wall uh, when they first spawn. So you want to, you know, put your your uh, pilot in a position where when he spawns, he can get going. Okay, so now I've collect, uh, selected uh, uh, my, my box. I've got my object, player two. My heading is, let me try, I've got a negative there. Let me try 90, negative 90. I'm going to hit apply. Now he's facing this way. So I need to put 180 in there. Let me apply that. He's going that way. Let me try just 90. Oop. And now he's facing that way. So you can get a, a an idea by putting your 90s, 45s, 180s, 360s, 270s in here uh, to go in any direction you want. Sometimes it's good to, uh, if you want to put your guy... Uh, you know, say 50. Uh, let me go negative 50. All right, so let's go uh, 200. And now he's shooting towards the middle of the room. That may be something you want as a spawn area. This is something you control. It's the customization factor. Um, let's say, look, he's a little too close or too centered. Let's put him... Uh, uh, well, it's the high one. Hold on a second. Ah, what am I doing? So if, uh, it's this, this one here. So say 39. And yeah, that's too far to the left. So let's go 69. Now he's up against the wall area. He's out of the way. He could be out of traffic. Uh, let's pitch here. Let me put his location. Let's see if 120 does it. Oh, that's the wrong way. Let's see if 20 does it. Again, the wrong way. <laughs> 200. 
Where did he go? Put him back. All right, now he's gone. Where did he go? So if you mess up, okay, I see what happened. I had too much. So 180. Now he's right there. He's pretty close to the corner. You'll need to figure out what that is. Again, not a mathematician. Just kind of trial and error. But that's how you move them around. And the same goes with your uh, power-ups, all your weapons, all your, you know, anything that, any objects. You just use the location, up, down, side to side, forward, the pitch. If I want him to go up or down 20, you know, he's, he's going up. Uh, if I want his banking to be something else, let's see what that does. Yeah, he's turning sideways. So this is kind of what you're doing with your object. Um, okay, so I can pretty much put him wherever I want. I'm going to mess with that and do that. Okay, and objects. Uh, segment functions. Okay, so say I want to put a new fuel center in and I want to go down here. I can either uh, hit a new box. Create a new box for it and then go to my segment and my function. I want to change this to a fuel center. Boom. Now it's now a fuel center. You can fly in there, get fuel. Or what you can do is insert go to your walls. Sorry, new segments again. Add fuel center. It'll sh whatever side you have, it'll add another cube down, automatically making it a fuel center. And it puts the uh, the little illusionary fuel cells there for you as well. If you wanted to do that, then you'll just need to go and texturize it however you want. If you want to use the, the a normal fuel center texture, you can do that and apply that. Now, um, say, let me copy this and paste it. So, I mean, here we go. If I want to add my fuel center. Going to my segments, shoots down there. Now my all my walls here are this color. I want to make them all. Um, so I'll hit this. Copy. Replace. Now all of these. Well, that one didn't hit it. It's already got a color on there, but works most of the time. Um, you can do that for your texture. Paste that. Oh, it already had a texture on there. It was a different texture than that gray. That's what it was. Um, let's see. Uh, the segment can also be anything else. You can make it a blue team, a blue goal for D2. And they, these don't apply to um, D1. Um, uh, speed boost, skybox, uh, robot makers are obvious. If you make it a robot maker, then uh, you can add, say what kind of uh, bots it creates. You're doing single player, but not multiplayer. Uh, if you wanted to make it uh, a repair center, I don't think that's anything in D1. Uh, but a reactor cube, you could put a reactor in there. Reactor cubes are... Um, Obviously for reactors, but nothing else will spawn in a reactor cube. So your weapons and your missiles won't spawn in there if you make it reactor cube. And I believe, according to Dracona, you have uh, 50 uh, reactor cubes you can put in. So if you wanted to adjust where your uh, missiles spawn or stop them from spawning in a certain area, make that cube a reactor cube. You don't necessarily have to have a reactor in it. Uh, but normally, they're going to be fuel centers or none or reactor cubes in D1. Everything else, uh, unless you're, if you're doing a team stuff, they'll be um, pertinent, but uh, the rest usually aren't. And if you do make a fuel center, you can decide whether or not you want to put these little fuel cells in there. All you have to do, if they don't show up, let me get rid of that wall. Um, is add one. So if you want to add a wall, a fuel cells since there aren't any there. You can do it here. Just go fuel cells and there they go. They're in there. Uh, if you add any other type of wall uh, and you want to delete a wall, just hit uh, the select the side, hit delete, hit the other side, hit delete, and there you go. Um, let's see, wall types. That brings us to wall type solution, normal or door. So this wall can either be 
uh, like illusion, normal, or door. Uh, if I want to put a door there, uh, the best thing to do is add a standard door, add, and then go here and select what type of door you would like. For example, I use a lot of door 14s. However, this is too big of a cube for a standard door. You have a couple options. You can uh, not put a door there at all. Uh, you can make it wide like that and make it a huge door, which may or may not work for the aesthetics of your map. But if you do that, you'll have to apply that to this side as well um, and make that door 14 wide. Uh, I've seen it done. I've done it before like this before, uh, and it seems to work. But uh, for the map that I've done it, but not this size. Anyway, uh, but that would make it a door. Um, if you go off of this, uh, typically off of a map, you want to go to this single cube uh, selector up here, normal cube, and hit insert. And what it'll do is it attempt to make a door sized cube on the other end. And from this point, boom, you can put your door there. That's a normal door. And it remembers the last door you use. Uh, go to that side, select other side, and it should be one there. There should be one there already. Okay, good. Just make sure you check that. And then that's a functioning door. Um, if you just want a regular wall, you could take this uh, away, change it to normal, other side. I mean, click this button that says other side, and then change this to normal. Your pattern or texture will change. Uh, make it whatever you want. At this point, it'll be solid and you cannot pass through it. If you, however, have one a wall that you can pass through, change this to illusion and then change your pattern. Go to the other side, change it to illusion. It wants to use fuel cells. But just change your texture and you should be able to fly down in there and come back out. Now you won't be able to see out of this um, nor down into it if you use this type of texture. If for however on this side you use where's that open texture at? There's an open texture here that you can use. It's right here. Now you can see up and no one can see in. That's kind of cool if you're uh, creating a camping area that you want to be able to really be stealthy and sneaky in. Um, probably not good for competitive play unless you want it used against you. <laughs> uh, but that can be done that way. What else do we have here? Wall type posting. Okay, uh, the last thing I wanted to add here was posting this to the DMDB. So say you've got all your weapons and your pilots and everything's all done you run your diagnostic and you say okay i'll save everything and uh i want to go to the dmdb well here open up uh, you can go to google and type in dmdb or type in www.enspirinspire.com uh, dmdb and this will come up and just create an account there's my account and uh say if i want to add a mission what you're presented with First thing you need to do is select Descent 1 or 2, whichever it's going to be. Uh, primary mission type is multiplayer, or if it's a co-op or single player, that's uh, in there. Uh, put the name of it in here. Uh, any versions, if you update a new version, make sure you put 1.2 and 1.3 if people are going to be uh, wanting to know that information, if I add the latest version. It'll put the date that it's put, uh, that you are adding it, uh, however many levels you're adding to it, uh, and player limit is suggested. I, I uh, follow this rule because I tend to build a lot of maps that are 1v1 or 2v2. If it's going to be a huge map that you can get eight players in, it's people will check that. So do make sure you put in here whether that's just two or four or whatever. Uh, a screenshot. Now, what you want to do is uh, you want to go into the map. And, um, you know, find a good location where you want to uh, represent the map. Uh, hit a screenshot, print screen. That'll save it to your uh, screens folder. Um, let's see. 
Um, you'll change it to la, 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 la. save it to your screenshots. Um, so, and then just go into Photoshop, um, open a screenshot. Let's see, we have what do we have here? We have this. This is one I did recently, and this image size for my monitor. Is 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select all of this and hit Control C, copy. You need to make it 640 by 480. So create a new one, a new window. Hit OK. Edit, paste. Control T, hold Shift, scroll down, Let's resize. Get it so you pretty much want it to look where you want it to be. Pull it over. Now you'll notice my my I'm missing some on the sides. Uh, it's probably okay to pull in a little bit if you want to capture more that you're not getting. Hit that file, save for web and devices. Save, put it wherever you're going to be putting it. Um, I have a, a map file. Where is it at? Anyway, save it where you want to, uh, and that will be your screenshot. Um, then go into your uh, missions folder, D1X, and then missions, and then get your your two files, your hog dot hog and your dot msn file. You want to select both of those, right click on them, and um, send them to a compressed zip folder, and, and then you're ready to go. Now you have your image, and you have your screenshot. And you have your mission zip file. Uh, you choose the file you want. You pop it in there. Choose the, the mission you want. Pop it in there. Uh, let me go to one I've done here um, recently. Let's see the one I actually did just for that. Uh, um, okay, so it's called Combat. Put the name in there. Um, there's one level. The most amount of player. Limit is six for that. Descent one multiplayer. Uh, I've got to actually already have that all selected. But then when you're writing it in, uh, just say what it is. It's a 1v1 or 2v2 up to six players. It's an open map centering around a large dogfighting area. Three homers to talk about the missiles you're putting in there. People like to know that. Anything special, only one Vulcan. The rest of the weapons are duped. Enjoy. And, you know, short and simple. If you want to get crazy, that's cool. Uh, but you do have a character limit. Uh, and then once you have all this information to go, you hit save mission and it'll update and it's on the DMDB. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was helpful. And uh, if I find any more tips, I will be adding them. Uh, hope this helps you build some more maps. Good luck.